Hello everyone, my name is Master Summerman, and welcome back for more Let's Play Kirby Triple Deluxe. Last time we played through stages 3 and 4 of Royal Road, in this video, we are tackling stage 5, and probably only stage 5, because this stage is massive. It is easily the longest stage in the game, and yeah... With all that being said, let's not waste any time and head to this giant floating diamond castle in the sky place here. <sighs> let's carry on here. We are going to try and rescue the people of the sky in this. There's someone trapped. Not good seeing them trapped like that. Let's go off and save them. Aww. And for saving one of them, they... will open this gate here. Alright. That is pretty much the main gimmick of this level here. And we're going to have a lot more where that came from there. There's five gates, five warp holes here, I believe, or maybe four. No, there's only four here, never mind. Still, though, we got to go through all of these here. I'm just going to tell you this straight up front here. Not all the sunstones are in these holes here, so I will save you guys that small bit of trouble there. Uh, nothing down there, I don't think. This kind of annoying. Ugh. Crap. I hate that you just automatically lose your ability for that. Like, I get why, but it's still annoying. Oh, there's a person right there. song sounds a little- that part of the song there remind sounds a little bit like, uh, Landia's battle theme. I wonder if that's like a remix, or if this song's kind of a remix of that. It's very different enough, but it still kind of sounded like it. Also, I can tell we have a mini-boss coming up if we have Bandana Waddle Dee giving us some stuff here. I also do not want Needle for anything. There's nothing here. Who do we got? We got... Just bonkers? Okay, then. Can I... Excuse me, since when did Spear have that kind of a throwing arm there? I don't remember that at all. Uh... Hold on a minute, let's drop this here now. Cause yeah, if we touch the fairy, that'll kind of warp us out of the area, but there is an optional door there. There. How do I get that there? I'm gonna guess this optional door has something to do with that. Mm-hmm. Oh, freaking... Ugh. See what we're doing here. Which 
sure if that was my original plan of attack or not, but it worked anyways, so... Screw it, I'll take that as my plan of attack. What? Oh, that wasn't what I was meant to do. Oh, crap, really? Shoot, okay, it has to be... Okay, I see what I did wrong there. Wrong thing, I meant to reset the tilt there. I didn't... Come on, game, I did not move my freaking... Ugh, I hate gyro controls sometimes. There we go. Don't move this, I swear to God. Thank you. That's how we get that first sunstone there. I think this would be... It's labeled as the second, but I think you can get the first or second ones in whatever order you want there. Just because the nature of this level here. Alright, let's free you. Someone's happy. <laughs> the people of the sky do have cute designs. I will give the, them that at least a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's seen as like the fourth one to do there. And... What we got here? A lot of background and foreground switching. Why... Want to be in which side? I keep wanting to check under these things, even though I doubt there's too much within that. Aha! Hold on, what is this? Hello? That actually was not what I expected it to be, or where I expected it to be, so. I'm gonna switch to the background. There's something that I think I can look at here. Hmm. Didn't see any sunstones in this room here. Again, I'm praying to heck there's not, but I'm gonna take the word for it that it's probably not in this area. Head on through here and hope there's a sunstone in this room here. I think there is, if I remember right. I do remember this room here at least existing anyway. I remember it being kind of a nasty room too, like kind of what you're intended to do in it. Shoot, I needed to switch there. Need to carry this for a while, if I remember right. Yeah, because I need to switch there. There is a sunstone, though, which is what I'm thankful for. Among plenty of other things. Like... I don't know, life, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. That should be the first one of the level there, if I recall. Yes, thank God. So now we get the crash ability, which could be nice. And, from the looks of things, we only have four of these locks down, not five. But there is another portal we haven't gone into yet. Because, of course, oh, for... I hate this... Uh, 
I hate this level gimmick that we're going to be dealing with here. I mean, it's a neat gimmick, but it's also a massive pain in the ass. Yep, we got another big one here. And time to do this some more here. Shoot. I'd like to keep my crasher here, but... I don't know if that's going to happen or not is hard to say. There we go. And do I get to break something in half if I... Since I kept Crash this whole time? <sighs> Survey's not saying yes here. I'd say those guys can give the wing ability there, which... Yeah, okay, here's the fifth person of the sky here. Again, you may be wondering, like, where the heck the other two sunstones are, but, uh, you remember the general rule of thumb with this game, with the exception of 5-3, I guess? Where... <clears throat> you get a, uh... Two sunstones in every hypernova level, pretty near. Well, um, yeah, this stage isn't done yet, even though it's been going on for like the average length of a normal stage. I, I know it is supposed to be the last level, but like this stage is gonna be a quite a bit more still. It's a long, long level. Uh, I see we have two fiery Miguel Boruses in the background. And we get ourselves a Hypernova. I think you see what we're doing. Eat. Save you. Yeah, if you can't tell, uh, we're gonna be using this to kill every single mini boss we're coming up against here. Which is definitely a satisfying thing, although I gotta say, I, originality doesn't mean too much as long as things are still fun, and this game is still usually pretty fun, but also, this kind of is just the same thing as the last level from Kirby's Return to Dreamland as well. So, we were given that game's, like, super ability to just completely wreck crap up there. I'm glad I checked that. Crush. Oh, there's some death there. <laughs> and let's save you again. And let's continue onward here, shall we? Two bonkers here. Do this again. See, it's like, it can be satisfying, but also it's kind of just a lot of the same, you know? Eat three of those guys. Eat some wheels. Eat another wheel here that... Are you not shifting? Yeah, I was gonna say, you're definitely shifting planes there. And there's a secret here, I can tell. That's the last sunstone here. I want to say, unless there's another gold keychain in this level, then I think we have everything in this level now. I'll save you there. 
and eat. <laughs> Yum. Kirby likes Taco Bell at 2 in the morning. I don't know what I'm going on with that. Anyways, though, with all that, I believe we've saved pretty much everyone. Oh, yeah, you think this is going to work too well? Let's just eat a boss entirely and the life bar for some reason as well. <laughs> sure, why not? And they give us the end goal there. Not bad. All right, um... That was it for this extremely long level here. Like, I think we were going for probably close to 20 minutes by now, I think. With all of that being said, next time on Kirby's Triple Deluxe, I almost said Return to Dreamland there. I cannot think right now. It's kind of just getting to that point. We will take on... Well, if you can imagine here... Golden Egg Statue, very nice. Oh, la la la. Gip. UFO. A lot of nice items there. We have an extra stage to take on before the boss here. We only needed seven sunstones to unlock this, but then again, I guess there's only 12 in the world normally. Either way, though, there's a boss. Open the final boss stage. But, like I said, and it wouldn't be this game without it, there is Stage 7 EX. I'll see you guys for that then. Peace out.